The way to pass over Satan's unprovoked assault. Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, United Methodist Church, translator, Mrs. Irene Park, reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of doctor in ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowan Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for minister. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bun Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Today, during my prayer time, the Lord asked me, do you know what an unprovoked assault is? I answer that it is attacking someone of no relation with no reason. The Lord said, if you research about unprovoked assault carefully, you can defeat Satan's attack. Could it be that the nature of Satan's attack is the same as unprovoked assault? It must be so, because apparently unprovoked assault is called devil's violence in Japan. The Lord explained about Satan's characteristics in more details through unprovoked assault. The first important characteristic of this kind of violence is that the object is unspecified. That means anyone could become a victim without any reason. It is so unfair for the victims because the only cause for the assault or murder is that they were there at that moment. And most of the time, when the offender is asked for the motive of the crime, there is no special reason. Likewise, the object of Satan's attack is not preset. It is constantly open to all. That is Satan's unprovoked assault. Wouldn't it break your heart if your own children experience such attack? The reason for Satan's such behavior is that he feels delight in kidnapping and torturing my beloved children. Since he had fallen and got kicked out of heaven, he has been bullying my children through reckless, unprovoked assaults. Could you imagine the heart of the parents who are witnessing the suffering of their children? That is the very strategy of Satan. He does not want to see my children enjoy the heavenly blessings which he has lost. He does not want to see them receive my love and wants to cause pain in my heart from watching my children suffer. That is his strategy. It is his evil mind to deprive happiness, make them tremble in fear, and let them live under panic and unrest. The children ought to be healthy, happy, and joyful in order for the parents to be happy. Isn't it right? Then, all the attacks we have suffered so far must have happened at random. But do you think we had a crack to induce the attack? Was it not that we gave any leeway to attack us? Satan's attacks whether there is a crevice or not. If there is a crack or a crevice, he will definitely attack. He oppresses roaming around like a roaring lion to look for a victim. He is tough towards the weak and cowardly toward the strong. That is why you must become strong, but not through your might, it can only be done by my support. Satan's mind is very evil. Correct. He is not just evil, but viciously wicked and cruel. He has nothing to lose anymore. You know the expression all or nothing, don't you? Since I am unhappy, you should be unhappy. I have nothing more to lose. I am at the bottom of a pit. So you fall down to the same place and experience the pain. That is his strategy. The biggest trait of Satan is jealousy. It is the jealousy towards happiness which my children enjoy. Even so, do
do we need to hide our happiness which we enjoy in you, Lord? Do not worry because there is happiness which he can steal and happiness which he cannot steal. They may take away temporal happiness which is visual, but never be able to take away your eternal happiness such as peace, rest, and joy. What you must do is to be on alert at all times and escape from Satan's indiscriminate attacks. There is a way to avoid his strikes. He cannot attack the ones armed with the blood of Christ. Also, he cannot attack the devout families who have accumulated prayers through the generations. Those prayers protect them, and Satan cannot touch them. When he sees the abundant anointing in the family, he cannot go near. He avoids instead. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Isaiah 10 verse 27. Haven't you seen that the children from the households of faith tend to live without much crises? They seem to repent easily, return to me before encountering a huge hardship, and live rather peaceful lives, don't they? Please teach us how to be armed with the precious blood of Christ. If we knew that, would we be able to prevent Satan's attack? First of all, being equipped with the precious blood of Christ means there is an event of the cross. The cross means total triumph over death by the precious blood of Christ. Satan cannot attack each and every family which has the event of the cross. What would be the event of the cross specifically? Does it mean to nail your passion and greed, die with me and resurrect? It denotes those people who have managed the outer man, live according to the inner man, and follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Always, my spirituality is dangerous, isn't it? Even though they say they are alive, they possess self-centered spirituality. Instead of serving me, they idolize themselves. But the triumph can be achieved only after one's passion and greed are taken care of. I will tell you another meaning of the event of the cross. The event of the cross is the very incident of God forgiving the sins of mankind through the precious blood of Christ. Therefore, this is the event you were written off the price for your sins. You no longer are in debt. And the reconciliation between heaven and earth took place. But the more important part of the event of the cross is that your forgiveness towards those who have wronged you must follow. The whole event of the cross is the reconciliation of heaven and earth as well as a reconciliation between you and your neighbor. The blocked wall ought to be demolished. What Satan hates the most is forgiveness. The reason Satan abhors the cross is that there is God's forgiveness. There is no more condemnation. Second of all, it is a family who has praise and worship in the household every day. It would be even better if the communion is included. Since I place parents as a priest in each home, I allow the observance of the communion in any home. If you can praise and worship at home, so is the observance of the communion. In the early churches, the observance of the communion was always included in the house worship. Your local church law might prevent it, but there is no law which prohibits the communion in homes. During the 10th plague in Egypt, each head of the household of the Israelites smeared the blood of the lamb on the sides and top of the door frames of the houses, correct? There was no leader who visited every house to smear the blood on the doorpost for them. Each family observed the festival killed a lamb, and prepared for Passover. All festivals were observed by families, and the parents who are the priests of the family led them. 
how many leaders would be able to visit all those families to observe the festival. It is the same with the new covenant. If every household observes the communion, remembering my flesh and blood, Satan will pass over that house. But if the church law prohibits, shouldn't we obey? If the pastor is against it, how can we do it at home? Would it be possible to keep it in secret? The church members would find out somehow. If the church is fervently against it, you would not feel comfortable either. The church law is relative. Some denominations allow the lay people to observe the communion, and some denominations prohibit because they think that individual would not be able to handle the communion. It could differ from denomination to denomination among the churches and ministers. That is why the church law is not absolute, but I can replace any law with corporate prayer. A home where there is corporate prayer Satan will have to pass over. There is a promise I have made about corporate prayer. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Matthew 18, verse 19 and 20. Ultimately, we can be protected from Satan's unprovoked attacks. Since such assaults in the society are also controlled by Satan, if we have the spiritual seal, Satan will have to avoid us. If there are people whom Satan wants to avoid, I would definitely want to belong to them. In order for that to happen, we need corporate prayer and worship in homes. But such daily discipline of devotion almost has become impossible. The society is complex and people lead busy lives that it is difficult to gather together, especially if either parent is an unbeliever, it is a challenge to have a family worship time. During the pandemic of COVID-19, didn't you have more chance to train such discipline in more depth? You had more time to spend with your family. How wonderful it would have been if you had trained for a family community of faith as a family church. Even if family members gathered, if there is no willingness in heart, it would be difficult to worship together. I feel sad for the lack of such discipline as a family community of faith. Remember, all the early Christian churches were centered around home. Lord, thank you for teaching me this very important truth. Since each family is not trained to be a community of faith, Satan is busy going around tearing down homes, destroy and steal the children, steal the spouse through unprovoked attacks. Unfortunately, it has become the wisdom of hindsight on our part. Why are we so negligent toward protecting our homes? Why are we not trained in this discipline? You have been living church-centered lives. You did everything in church. Praise and worship, corporate prayer, Bible study, fellowship and serving. Therefore, you were very busy and you ended up needing bigger place with more space. Almost every day was centered around the church and it was a faith life which totally depended on the pastor 100%, and your homes were defenseless and vulnerable. Home was more like a hotel where you just spent the night to sleep. In order to save your home from Satan's terrible, unprovoked assault, make your home the very place to discipline for a family community of faith. That is why home is the first institution I have set up. If that is not achieved, home will become the place of fight and argument, division and conflict, and Satan's most favorite place to stay. My beloved, can you understand my heart? I feel so sad why you have to become the victims of Satan's unprovoked assault. 
I feel sad as well. My heart always ached to see people's dual facets, being a Christian within a church and become different in the society. But Lord, please give a word of advice for those families who cannot have family worship at home. Any solutions? If all family members cannot be together, at least one person ought to put on oil and worship. Do not make excuses such as it is difficult to get together or someone is an unbeliever. Anoint with oil, read the Psalms, pray and worship. Read the word prescription for family and proclaim before Satan that the master of the household is me. Then Satan's attack will lessen and his grip on each member of the family will loosen one by one. Where there is treasure, there is your heart always. If you realize the importance of the heavenly treasure called worship, you will find a way to have family worship no matter what. Lord, is it not that we could not? But it seems like we did not want to do it. May our households become where there is worship with the Lord and the angels. Thank you. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.